I really hope you didn't bring enough for all of us. <laughs> yeah, this can get pretty messy, but luckily you look like a human bib, so I think you'll be safe. <laughs> Well, you look like you a little cheering up. No, not really. I haven't felt this good in a really long time. In fact, I tried to talk them out of releasing me, so. Yeah, that's the spirit. Just have a little patience. You'll be back to that happy Jeff I know in no time, I promise. Seriously, I, I, I couldn't be any happier, really. Come on, man, you can't fool me. Look, to cheer you up, I brought you a surprise. Larry, you bought me a hoopty. No, it's what's in the hoop. It's what's in the, that car, that's my, I'm, I paid for that. It's fully totally paid off. So you bought a pair of jumper cables and they throw in a free car? No, I paid for it over time, like with... Uh, forget it. Hey, stranger. Jeff! <laughs> oh, you look like you could use some cheering up. Hop on in. You have to jiggle the handle and get her. Or get the, just in the back and sit. How are you? Good. You look great. I'm deadly serious about me being totally happy right now. That's just because you're still in the denial phase. And that's okay. Oh. Careful, what? this wrinkle's super easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's weird. You smell like pickle juice. Uh, that is weird. Hmm. You okay, buddy? Yeah, it's just, you know, there was a mix up with my laundry, so I'm also wearing hospital issued paper underwear. Oh. Don't look. It wasn't gonna, Jeff. You're joking, right? I wish I was. I'd show you, but it doesn't leave much to the imagination. Yeah, you know, like two hams and a sausage wrapped in rice paper? Basically, yeah. Probably too big. What? Oh, sorry, just talking to myself. Larry, where are we gonna take Jeff to pull him out of his depression? How about Realityville? As in this reality, the one where I'm not remotely depressed, but I'm slowly becoming more annoyed. Hey man, I don't think that place exists. You know what, Larry, one of the biggest problems I had when before they put me in is no one believed me when I told them how I felt. That's because you weren't being honest with yourself, ah, Jeff. But if I didn't know I wasn't being honest, then I was being honest. But you did know, Jeff. I did not. Jeff? I didn't. Jeff. I did? Thank you, Jeff. Hear that, Larry? I did. You could be one of those professional interrogators or something. What? That's a thing? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, let's go to that new place. Um, Three men in a boba. I drove by there the other day. It's super creepy. Sounds creepy. Yeah, I suppose it does. So, uh, Larry, how's it going with that supposedly Russian woman you're seeing? She <laughs> won't give you a real name. <laughs> She's not supposedly Russian. She's really Russian. And her name is Natasha. Oh. But, but, but hear me out. Does this Natasha have a friend named Boris or refer to you as her pet moose? <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. And why am I Bullwinkle in this scenario, huh? You're Bullwinkle because you're not Russian and you're terrible at magic tricks. Everybody knows that. Unbelievable. You know, at least you have the benefit of a long-distance relationship. Why is a long-distance relationship a benefit? It'll take her a really long time to discover all of your shortcomings. Definitely too small. What? Oh, sorry, I'm just thinking about something else. I just, um... I wanted to thank you guys for coming to see me while I was in there. It, it meant a lot. Of course, buddy. Two months is too long to go without seeing your friends. You know what I, what I can't figure out? Is how I even got there in the first place. You told me that you checked yourself in. You know, I, I, I thought it was me. I was in such bad shape when I got there, but it turns out it wasn't. Yeah, that's what you told me. Well, if I had to guess, I would say she who shall not be named put me in there. Your wife, Jenny. Not to be named, Katie. Not to be named. Sorry. That can't be right. No, I, let's explore this some more. Let's not just blow it off. Well, but before we move on to anything remotely pleasant, please tell me you know her whereabouts. Yes, we are definitely keeping tabs on her for you. Lair! Stop here! Okay, we're going this way. Oh. 
Larry, pull the car up and keep it running. I'll be right back. Oh my, she's not, is she, is she gonna rob them? Oh my God, can you imagine? I, that's not the best rap sheet to have, robbed a nursery. No. That's not hard. That's not gonna keep you alive in prison, I'll tell you that. No. It's gotta be much tougher than that. Get on the floor! I'm here for your banana trees and nothing else! Hey there, little miss. You don't need to be like that. I'll give a pretty girl like you anything you want. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, but I prefer to take it my own way with force. That's all right. I'm feminist AF. You do what you gotta do, little lady. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then, in that case, I maybe I'll just buy one. How about that? Oh, it's a perfect fit! Great. <sighs> you got a good deal on it? Yeah, not bad. Let's hit it, Lair. Where to? To Jeff's new home, of course. New home? You're gonna love it. <laughs> Here.